Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, guess what? Weed Whacker Lawn Care. It's going in the mail. Let's put this bad boy in before we take off today. Hey, it's a beautiful day, but it's going to get hot today. So let's try to get everything done. Who knows what we'll get into today, but I know we have nine yards, maybe ten. But uh, let's go to work. All right, guys, we got that one done. Starting to get warm out here, and uh, Mulch Queen's sweating already. <laughs> What's up, brother? I started to sweat when I woke up. And... Oh, he's got a new hat. No, old hat. Just, uh, what'd you do with the Walker hat? Still got it. You gonna wash it, or are you just oh, gonna? Yeah. Well, it's so like salt stained and sweat stained and bleached in the sun. It's... Guys, send him a new hat, please. Gosh <laughs> almighty. Hey, got to tell you something just happened a couple yards back. Customer really upset with uh, some work that was done and uh, threatened to turn the business into the association and make sure that there was no more work in that area. We'll go into it, but uh, listen. Make sure you stand behind your work, man, because when you own a business like this, word of mouth spreads quickly, and you don't want trouble like that. But let's get on to the next one, and uh, we'll get some footage there, and then we'll talk about it. All right, guys, I'm on the phone with Curtis with Weed Whacker Lawn Care. Curtis, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, man. I'm here. Okay, well, Curtis, I wanted to let you know we sent the check out today it's in the mailbox and we really appreciate I put a note in there and I also put one of my stickers and I want you to know that we love you man and we appreciate everything you've done for the lawn care community oh man well thank you thank you man I really appreciate it there yeah I'm up here I'm just working hard and you know trying to overcome this storm from the other week here well I won't yeah I won't keep you but, uh, guys, there's Curtis. He's going to get his check. Okay, Curtis, thank you. So
All right, guys, Whew, that one's done. And uh, we're almost done for the day. We got three left, looking good. It is still growing, but uh, let me take you up here and show you. It's still striping up pretty good. We got, uh, yeah, there you go, you can see it. Still striping up pretty good. But, uh, man, it, it's just abnormally hot for the day. Yeah, we're over 90 now. But, uh, hey, let me tell you what happened, man. So this customer, we get to his house first thing this morning, and uh, he's not, like, super happy. And I'm like, man, what's, you know, what's going on? What's the problem? And he's like, well... You know, had a had a uh, new brick paver patio put in the back, and uh, gosh darn, I can't get this thing level for you. There we go. Had a new brick paver paver patio put in the back, and the guy never sanded it or sealed it, and he left wires out in the mulch beds and other places, and this guy is. Like, I, I'm not putting up with this. I paid good money. Now look, I'm going to tell you right now. Your work matters. The quality of your work matters. The thoroughness of your work matters. This guy said to me, Shane, I am calling the Homeowners Association, the HOA, and I am having him out of this neighborhood. I don't want him in here anymore. I'm going to release an email and a newsletter. And I'm like, man. And he said, you always do what you say you're going to do. And you always ask my opinion on how I want it done. He said, if it wasn't for that, he goes, if he would have done that, it would have been fine. But I'm telling you, man, you guys got to be careful because you upset the wrong person with, with your with the way you want to do it and not with the customer, you always got to check with the customer. Find out how they want something done. I don't care if it's hedge trimming, mowing the grass, whatever. Make sure they're happy with it. Because it can cost you in the long run. It can cost you your business. And uh, this guy did four patios in this neighborhood in upwards of around seventy thousand dollars and he could lose that business again for the for the people that are existing if he doesn't change it so yeah the customer was not happy man he's asking me shane can you sand it can you seal it i don't have any time really to do that but uh i'll tell you what man pay attention to your work that's number one pay attention look around when you're done Make sure everything looks good. If it doesn't, touch it up. But uh, let's get on to the next one. And uh, don't play Russian roulette with your business. You got too much at stake. Let's go. guys that's it we are done with this one we're done for the day boy it was a warm one out hey i hope you heard curtis on that phone call what a great guy man curtis is awesome uh anyway let me show you the uh yard here real quick There you go. All done. 
looking good but uh, hey man make sure you are careful with your reputation because these customers can sink your business in a heartbeat and it sounds like my customer wasn't happy with that business at all and uh, just got to be careful man got to be careful but uh, hey I hope you guys enjoyed the video it was a hot one today we've got about 13 to do tomorrow and uh, yeah it's gonna be a rough one tomorrow we got a lot of weeding to do but uh, and I, I just don't like weeding but you know you do what you got to do but uh, Anyway, Curtis's check is in the mail. Talk to him. And, uh, hey, it's almost time for the GIE. So, if you guys show up at the GIE and you happen to see me, come up, say hello. Uh, and let's chit-chat a little bit. But uh, that's it, man. Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real as always. You know I'll see you tomorrow, and I am out of here. Peace.